Before we dive into BRF+, Plus, we first need to have an understanding of the underlying principles of a business rules management system, or BRMS for short, and why we need it from the first place. All companies have policies and rules to guide and instruct their employees and other business partners of what should and shouldn't be done. There are several places we can expect to find those rules. Some rules can be found on paper, like books, notebooks, and formal documents of the company. Some rules are to be found only in the minds of the business experts. And then, of course, we can expect to find business rules assimilated in the information systems of the company, usually embedded in the code of the business applications. Business rules that are found in the minds of experts, as tacit knowledge, are inaccessible to other employees, and this makes them completely obscure to others. In this regard, automation of decisions is simply impossible. On the other hand, if for some reason a rule should be changed, agility is at its highest, since no physical move should take place. Written materials are much more lucid and understandable by employees, and their ability to be widespread makes them agents of automatic decisions. But written materials also have a measure of change resistance, as changes are potentially needed to be done in many relevant documents, and employees must learn the new agenda. When the business rules are found in the application's code, they are moderately change-resistant, as usually a developer needs to correct the relevant application code. But on the other hand, changes take effect immediately as they are introduced in the code. On the automation side, the rule has been totally mechanized, so it can be linked to many relevant business applications, and decisions can be made with no human intervention. The downside is, that here too the business rules are not readily exposed to the employees. Such exposure is needed, for example, whenever a certain outcome leads to an interrogation. The next step, a business rules management system. In a business rules management system, we can combine the best of all worlds quick responsiveness to changes in the business environment of the organization, and full accessibility to business users. This is achieved thanks to four main features. First, separation of business rules from application code, enabling agility in coping with policy changes without the need to edit the code. Second, modeling of complex business logic enabling automation of key business decisions. Third, central management of business rules, enabling the organization with consistent applications regarding the most current corporate policy. And fourth, accessibility for business users increases the business rules visibility and contributes to accountability. Business rules can be simple as deciding on a single constant. For example, when an organization wants to declare a ceiling value for a monthly cumulative discount for any single customer. Now, it might be sound a bit complex, but think about it. It really is simple. All you need to do is to define a constant value. However, rules can be very complex, such as a formula giving different discounts to different customer types for different types of purchased goods and for different quantities. In all cases, the business rule should be presented in a friendly manner, understandable to a non-technical business user. Also, unforeseen changes in critical business applications require a high degree of flexibility. 
No matter how simple or complex the business rules are, being able to create, view and maintain them with easy and fast manner is critical in many cases. In our technological world, this need calls for a technological solution in the form of a software system that is specialized in creating, maintaining and enforcing business rules. As said, such a system is called a Business Rules Management System or BRMS. The purpose of BRMS is to enable authoring and management of business rules and also provide us with a specialized engine to run them whenever needed. All this is to be done without the need of alteration of the application code that implements the business process. A typical BRMS has three distinct components. The first component is called the Rule Authoring Environment. This component consists of a user interface providing the user the tools to create new business rules and edit existing ones. A successful BRMS is one that supplies a user-friendly interface such that non-technical business experts are able to use it with ease. This feature of user-friendliness of the authoring environment is a key feature since business decisions are not made by IT professionals but by business experts responsible for running some business area. By eliminating the need of IT professionals, the business rules suddenly become much more accessible for the business users. In turn, the organization making as business rules can be adapted more quickly in response to business needs. Other features commonly provided by the authoring system are ability to test or simulate the business rules before deployment, self-consistency check and dependency analysis. The simulation capability is a very important feature. The rule author must verify that the business rule behaves the way it was anticipated. This feature too contributes to the simplicity and leads to the simplicity and creating business rules. It does so in two levels. First, by saving the time that it requires to deploy the business rule to QA system. And second, saving the time it requires to test the rule by activating the business application itself, which may very well be very complex and time consuming. The second component of a BRMS is the rule repository. The rule repository causes the business rules that are created by the user to be persistent. It captures the different elements and vocabulary created in the authoring environment. In practice, the rule repository is the specific technique that the BRMS uses in storing the business rules definitions in the system. Some rule repositories, like the one used by BRF Plus, provide advanced features like change management, versioning support, and access control for multi-user authoring. Another advanced feature that is provided by high-end BRMS like BRF Plus is the ability to integrate with other technologies or platforms such as ERP systems. Such an integration allows the rule repository to use already defined elements out of existing vocabularies. BRF Plus, for example, can use any data object that is found in the ABAP data dictionary without the need to redefine it. The third component of a BRMS is the rule engine. The rule engine is arguably the most important component, at least from the IT perspective. The rule engine uses the rule repository to retrieve the business rules definitions for execution. To enable the business application to invoke the business rules, 
The rule engine provides spatial APIs or services to be used in the application code. High-end BRMS, such BRF Plus, have rule engines that are capable of providing high performance and parallel run of multiple instances. In some business applications, like pricing, this is absolutely critical. In such a scenario, the application calls the rule engine extremely frequently. For that end, some rule engines provide pre-compilation or code generation to improve the rule's execution. BRF Plus, for example, generates an ABAP code instance for every invoked business rule. This code generation happens only on the first invocation of a rule, so the access to the repository is also done only on the first invocation. Of course, if there is some change in the rule, the code generation must take place once more. One of the roles of the rule engine is to govern this cycle. Okay, so after depicting the need and the layout of BRMS, let's move on to talk about one of the best business rules management systems out there, BRF Plus.